Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and here I am today with a new jewelry jar. Uh, this is one of three that I bought at the same time, and so if you watched my last video, you'll probably recognize uh, the packaging of some of these items. The, the, the previous jar, which weighed uh, 2 pounds, 14 ounces, contained a lot of beads that had been sorted and put into bags, and this one uh, seems to be the same. Um, there is some jewelry that is separate. There's something that looks like fur. I don't know if it's real or faux fur. Some uh, cording. Um, some keychains. Beads on strings. These I recognized from the previous jar. There's uh, something yellow. There is a, if I go this way, you'll be able to tell better. It's a surfing crocodile alligator on a keychain. So not really jewelry, but you know, as I said uh, in a previous video, not of us are, not all of us are jewelry aficionados and understand the distinctions between things like napkin rings and jewelry, keychains and jewelry. Anyway, I'm, uh, Interested in getting into this jar, um, it's 6 pounds 12 ounces, including the jar itself, so I'm not sure how much the jar weighs, maybe a pound. It was uh, on half price, so it was only $7.50 Canadian, so half of 15. Um, uh, give me a second, I'll go away, cut off the top, and there's a bunch of uh, watches there in the top. And then I'll come back and let's dive into the jar. And here I'm back after getting that uh, layers of tape off the top of the jar. And as I mentioned, there were uh, a bunch of watches in the top of the jar. If we put this one up correctly, I think it says Orion de la... Oh, no, Oscar de la Rente. Quartz. Japan, and there's a code number at the bottom. What does it say on the back? Oscar de la Renta, uh, probably a serial number, 377 will be the type of battery it takes. So you can see there's some wear on it, but it uh, could be cleaned. It's in good shape. It's not running, but it may just need a battery. I'll have to check in to see whether that's... Um, a fake or a real Oscar de la Renta. Then there's one of these. I uh, found a uh, watch like this in one of my very first jewelry jars. It had um, like a grayish shell on the band. It was a little bit wider. And it's been uh, a very serviceable watch. This is a quartz watch. It's got uh, green dyed shell or glass. I'm not sure. And it says, it's pretty, pretty, let's see, steel back. It's a little shiny. Japan movement. Uh, SR626 SW battery. What does it say on this side? Oh, stainless steel back. And then a code number in the center. So, like once again, um, in good shape, a little cleaning, check if it works with the battery, and there may be a usable watch. Here's third watch, and it says, and Klein 2, um, and well, maybe a little bit of wear on the corners. It's hard to tell through the camera. Nice band, a little bit of cleaning that can be uh, suitable for someone uh, with a nice dainty wrist. What does it say on the back here? Base metal back, is that what it says? Oh, base metal bezel, stainless steel back, Thailand movement, quartz. 10 of 37.52, so I don't know if that's a 
significant number at all, but Anne Klein too. And then it's not very impressive for the front and it's kind of needs a good cleaning, but on the back, sorry, if we put it right side up, this is a Fitbit. So we'll have to see um, if it's working, if it needs charging. I know Fitbits are very popular and sometimes you get two or three different bands in a jewelry jar uh, to go with the one Fitbit. I have uh, my own spiffy little uh, fitness watch I just got. Uh, it was part of the um, half price jewelry sale at the, the Salvation Army thrift store. And when I double tap it, tells me where how, uh, the both how much of my activity I've done for the day and approximately what time it is. So about 10 after 11. And it's supposed to be a sleep monitor, but I just haven't figured out exactly how to get it to monitor my sleep. Anyway, um, that was only five bucks Canadian. So for five bucks, I figured I could try it. And it, so far, interesting. Next in the neck of the jar were all of these bags of beads. And uh, I won't bore you with them because uh, we'll go through them quickly. But these little green cubes, I'm not sure why there's in, they're in three bags. But I know I found some in a previous jar. Here's um, a couple more. So few more. Here's some larger green cubes. Um, these are all seed beads in various colors. There's a mixture. Seed beads, seed beads, seed beads. I'll have to measure what size they are. These are probably rokais. They're kind of flat on the edges but lots of them very usable some more cubes and then these are slightly larger rounds and there's a little mixture in a bag of all different bits and pieces and here are some green ovals so lots of jewelry supplies let me dig in and get another couple handfuls. And uh, here, move these to the side. Here is our first piece of jewelry. This is a toggle clasp bracelet. Sometimes, there we, whoops. It's heavy. These are glass teardrops. Um, and maybe not, I think these feel like plastic in between, otherwise it would be very, very heavy. Um, I'm not sure how big it is. Oh, it would fit a standard wrist. Um, and it doesn't move too much once it's on the wrist. That's not bad. I would, mm, might like to repurpose those teardrops into something else. And I don't see any markings on the clasp. It feels very light. It, uh, it doesn't feel or look like meth, uh, like silver. But if I get out my magnet, oh, Let's see if we can, oh yeah, there's a slight attraction to the magnet. So I probably won't bother testing that, but that's a, a, an interesting little bracelet. Kind of like that idea. Here is a hematite, hematite necklace. Great shape, nice graduated beads, barrel clasp. And uh, maybe 16 inches. My ruler has 
wandered slightly, so let's see what we see here. Oh yeah, there you can see the inches. Eight, nine. Is that nine? Oh, got it backwards. Okay, let's do this correctly. I'm having trouble seeing this morning. So one, two, oh, say so closer to 14 inches down there. So um, a small necklace, probably something I will save for uh, like a teenage girl party or donate. And do I have anything else here that's, oh, here's uh, another bracelet. Oh, this one's quite pretty. Um, they're green beads and not quite red, a nice sort of dull orangey red. So it doesn't look too Christmassy. And it has a toggle clasp. Hmm. Let me undo this and see if I can see anything more about the clasp. Let's see if it's attracted. That is hmm. All right, I'll have to look more closely at this clasp. I don't see anywhere that it would be marked. It could be just a base metal without any iron or nickel in it. So a nice handmade bracelet. It's uh, a good length, good standard, average wrist and uh, nice colors. I recognize the flat disc beads from other beads that are in that were in the previous jar. So probably handmade again by the person who had this bead collection. Then here is a string or a partial string of some seed beads with a little bit of a tag left on them. So I'll put those in a bag and a whole bunch of uh, cat's eye beads in blues, various sizes, um, seed beads, some large and smalls, probably some sixes, and then some tens or maybe less. It's hard to tell on the camera. Some oval blue cat's eyes. Quite a few packages. I'm not sure. I tend to put them all together in one bag so that um they're all together but maybe there was a reason that they were all separated out or maybe someone was clearing out a store who knows we did have a a jewelry store or a jewelry supply shop closed near us but they went just to online sales there because of uh covid and and then here's some yellows some Bright pinks. I think the previous jar had some pinks like that. These ovals again. Uh, this type of orange. These are hematite. And these are um, more of a diamond than a bicone. Or, a, yeah, like a. What do you call it when it's not cube shape more diamond in terms of the 3d shape that's what those are so i have a growing pile of beads i said that i would uh, take some time in 2022 and do some jewelry videos now here's a bracelet made of those cat's eye beads sometimes they have another name i'm trying to remember what it, uh see if i can remember what it is i know swarovski made kits of these and I have a one with I have a kit with green beads I'll have to dig it out anyway this is an odd um, closure I guess the half of the toggle went missing so they or they didn't have quite enough and this doesn't go off and on very easily it's a little small and then oh 
there's a pair of matching earrings. I wasn't sure what this was. So there's a, a, a matching set. I'll put those in a little container by themselves. And let's dig down. There are There is jewelry. Um, So I've dug down to uh, about the middle of the jar. This will probably be a fast video. Let's see if we can. There's some more of these oval or egg-shaped blue cat's eye beads. Some blue rectangles. These more of these bright pink beads. And I'm back. Sorry for the uh, little break. I had to deal with something to do with my fridge. Anyway, um, so some navy blue beads of different shapes and sizes. Aqua. A nice, uh, what are those? It's more modeled rather than cat's eye. Some of those bright pink ones. A different shape. Here's a few, well that looks like a, a faux pearl, some blue pinch beads, pink cat's eye in the ovals or egg shape, a couple of interesting pinch beads, I like those. Uh, some random beads, little cubes of some sort. Here's a huge bag of uh, clear daggers. I don't know if there's a little coating on them or not. Let's... Oh yeah, so they're clear on one side and coated on the other. A little bit of an Aurora Borealis coating. So again, it makes me think of snowflakes, but there's tons of jewelry to be made with those. Here's a bag full of um, white, probably an 8, certainly bigger than a 10, size 10. Uh, different rounds, sort of a dusty rose, that bright pink again, some cubes, more of those bright pinks in about a 10 millimeter. I think we saw a few of the greens in a previous video. There's a bunch of interesting ones. They look sort of like leaves. Or they look like leaves. More of these rounds. Here's some diamonds with the, uh, you can see the channel grows across the uh, bead. These are, uh, can't tell, they almost look like a little flower. But they're definitely a textured bead. Those are interesting. Here's some more blues of different types. Some clear with a blue center. Another type of blue. Some light blue matte ovals. Some long skinny ovals. Maybe a pinch bead in there. Some orange. These are quite interesting. There's one. Some yellow cat size. Some black flat tiles. Oh, these are pretty. Some. These are a brownish color, sort of a purpley brown cat size. A couple more pinks. There's some more of those diamonds. Some more light blues of different styles, uh, a couple of different oranges, some orange cubes, some orange round, whoops, sorry, some orange rounds, and certainly I didn't plan to take this many new beads into my collection. I might have to start a little store just to uh, pass some on. I like that yellow, nice, bright, sunny yellow. Um, 
some more greens and another green here just one of those some more uh, daggers I think we've had some of those previously those are sort of a bluish dagger another deep deep blue those are pretty those are very pretty some light pink uh, diamonds some rectangles another type of rectangle some I'm not sure what shape you would call these kind of a a soft faceted or a you know a tumbled faceted bead some more little oval cat size some black rectangles some well those are kind of nice multicolored the gold and the kind of like honey and whipped honey more cat size the oval flat oval pinks some red cubes these are a twisted pinch bead just some little rounds a couple of rounds and yellows rounds in that sort of a orangey beige more diamonds more diamonds those look the same color just two different bags there's a nice pretty blue Some more daggers, some hearts. Oh, those will be cute. Do that with the kids' jewelry. Some large circles, some more rounds. You almost, I think they're glass, they could be rose quartz. Some matte rounds, some sort of purpley ovals. And we saw those already. So that's quite a few beads. And there's still more to come. So for those of you who aren't into jewelry making and aren't into beads, you might want to fast forward. I'll try to put the point uh, on the video where I get to the actual jewelry. But as you can see, there's just beads and beads galore. Look at all these uh, bags of sort of peacock mirror finish. Those all look this, pretty much the same. There's another one. And then there's some pink in that and some darker in ones like that. Okay, those will be fun to play with. Some red cubes, some red uh, or orangey circles, some more of those rectangular ones. We saw some of these already. One of those. Those are that's a pretty yellow. It's not it's almost like a butterscotch more bright oranges there's some cube beads and some similar some other blues lots of blues here um, here's a bunch I'm gonna put on my hand they're all kind of in the well clear range circles cubes triangular uh, these are a little pinkier pinch beads here I think we saw some of those are in a previous jar which have a colored center those are quite lovely almost uh, a rainbow effect here's some well, I've forgotten the name of these it's kind of it's a barrel with a wide end that has that has a special name wouldn't you know? I can't remember. Oh, we had some of these in a previous jar. They're like a little curled snail. Had some green and some aqua. We have a lot of these sort of dusty rose pinky beads. Here's some a little darker pink. What else have we got? Get a bunch of greenish cubes. And some other green. It's a... Uh, almost a, a diamond shape, 3D diamond shape, green in the center, clear on the outside. Here's some like that as well. A few little individual blues. 
hard to do something with a single bead, a clear, some beige, some taffy round discs, some red rectangular ones. Well, that's a pretty purple. These all have um, eye pins in them. I wonder if they were made like that or somebody was working on a project. And then I think these are, we're getting down into the browns, different shades. Oh, that's kind of a greeny one. There's some nice uh, teardrops, kind of, are they the same color? Not quite. And some triangles. And a few more. Oh, there's a fairy thing in here. As long as it's not a dead animal, we're fine. Getting these with, I think, almost got the last of the bags of beads. So again, we've seen a bunch of these already and a bunch of these. So these are mostly all duplicates of what we've seen before. Um, that's a little different one we haven't seen. And there's, as I said, there's a whole bunch of these. I'm going to just pile them up, get through them for you. This will be the fastest uh, showing of a bead inventory that you've ever seen. And there's some darker ones. There's more oval ones. I'll have to have some kids' jewelry parties and use that. I think they, teen, kids would really like those. So, so much better than um, pony beads. So much more upscale. There's some more of those. Oh, and here's another package of the whitish ones. Here's a couple of trumpet flower beads in purple. There's a, and when you got two, you can make a pair of earrings. Here are some reds of all different types. Here are some pinks. And uh, a couple of pinks. These are, I like these nice flat ovals. Here are some yellows. I like those ones with the stripy orange in them and that's quite a nice color. Nice bright yellow there. And as always, those are always popular. Those are different beads. They look kind of the same color but they're different shape. There's more, uh, this is more of a creamy white. This is a bright white. Um, some flat diamonds, some uh, other shaped. We've got a little bit more orange and red that I missed. We've got these blue diamonds, some white rectangles, some sort of greeny rounds. I don't know if those are glass or a stone. I'll have to check them out. Uh, some purpley gray mat. They're interesting. They're very tumbled. And these are like a little melon bead. Some more reds. Some more cubes. And some green rounds. And some ones that look like those faux pearls. But that were a, lar a larger size earlier. So, oh, here's a, a single teardrop and a single faux pearl. So I'll have to find a little home for those. So, so far we've had this huge pile of beads. We've had this one bracelet, this bracelet, bracelet and earrings and now you can start to see some of the beads that we saw in the bags that went into making the bracelet and earrings. A hematite necklace that I don't think was uh, handmade. I think it was um, but the other th three pieces. And now the bottom of the jar with that furry thing. All right. So This is probably, this is, I would say this is real fur and it is a keychain. It's probably just, it looks like rabbit fur to me. Um, and if you, you can kind of feel the skin inside of it. It's not um, soft. I don't know. That would might be interesting in 
costuming or something. So piece of fur, another keychain. This is the bottom of the jar. I had keychains. This says fleece on board. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think I want a dog with fleas on board, but a cute kind of keychain. That would be fun for somebody. Here is, this is probably, oh yeah, hello from Florida. Not like I'm going there anytime soon with COVID. So another keychain. These rings are always useful, these split rings. Um, this is Adam's, uh, an Adam keychain with a whole bunch of LA gear regulator, air regulated system, LA gear, California, LA gear regulator system. I don't know the significance of those. And a, um, is that a Triceratops? No, or a Stegosaurus, a Stegosaurus, sorry. So a whole, whole bunch of key rings. I got more key rings, I don't know what to do. Here's, uh, Another, this has got to be a Florida key ring. Like, isn't this guy cool? Look at his tail. I can't tell if he's a alligator or a crocodile. But another, a safe board, a surfboarding key ring. There's another key ring. Another alligator or alligator crocodile. We have a theme going here. Another key ring. This is a, a basketball player from the... The Bulls. Okay, so anybody got a Bulls team that needs uh, a key ring? You know, the thing is, you could, if you really were interested, if people really needed key ring things, you could take the critters off and you could put something more interesting on the end. So that's it for the key rings, I'm pretty sure. So here we have some more beads. Um, and we had some of these in the previous jar. So uh, seed beads. Um, quite uh, poor quality because they're so, so inconsistent. But they have their place in jewelry, especially um, if you're trying to look, uh, get a certain style. So there's those beads. There's this necklace. Now this is interesting. It's not, if I kind of, it's not colors I would have normally put together. So we've got these clear plastic or acrylic beads with a white center and then these orangey kind of pearls, darker than champagne color. Um, and then the transition between them is these, I don't think those are plastic. Transition between them is this, these speckled plastic beads. Uh, lobster claw clasp, a little extender. And if we measure 12, 24, so 12, probably 25 and two inch extender. So that's in good condition. And I uh, think that's something I will, uh, Hmm. I'll probably pass it on uh, to the gratis shop. Though you could take the piece, the sections apart and repurpose them. But it's in pretty good shape. Just needs cleaning and uh, very wearable necklace. And then there's two pieces left. There's this interesting. I thought this was a bangle, but it doesn't fit me. It's there's the pendant, good looking shape on a, a cloth cord with a lobster claw cusp, no markings, so a quite long, there's the necklace, if we, so about 18 inches to the bottom of the, uh, including the bottom of the uh, the pendant. So if we just measure the um, the cord itself, about 14 inches. Um, oh, not 14 inches. 14 to, uh, 
7 times 4, 28 inches. Sorry, 28 inches. And then the pendant itself is 3. Um, so, I'd, much as I'd rather see this on a different type of cord, um, it is uh, good condition, very wearable. And finally, so here's a, a stick pin, no, no uh, closure on the bottom. Uh, here is a pin with a lion rampant and the letters JCI. No, nothing on the back. I don't think it's precious metal in any way. Probably something collegiate, collegiate institute. So I'm not sure I'm going to spend any time researching that, but that's the last thing from this jewelry jar. Um, more keychains than I've ever gotten in one jar. <laughs> Of most interesting qualities, uh, you know, most humorous keychains, perhaps. I would say the fewest pieces of real jewelry from a jewelry jar, but not bad. And then a wonderful, wonderful collection of um, beads already bagged and ready to uh, assorted, ready to go. And that's what attracted me to the jewelry jar because I make jewelry hope you've enjoyed this quick trip through a jewelry jar and i'll have to weigh the jar and let you know um how many pounds because it was six pounds i said in the beginning can't remember how many ounces six pounds 12 ounces and i'll weigh the jewelry jar and let you know how much it weighed thanks very much have a great day bye for now